The government of St. Kitts and Nevis says it's not worried about the Barack Obama's administration decision to impose sanctions on an offshore energy company allegedly registered to the Twin Islands. The U.S. Treasury Department has accused Blue Energy Trade Limited, better known as Blue Energy, of helping to fuel the ongoing conflict in Syria. The U.S. government said the company supplied products to the Bashar al-Assad regime. Petition Foreign Affairs Minister Mark Brantley says the government is aware of the company. We are aware of that designation. We are aware that the company uh, was a company registered uh, in St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, Blue Energy. As you and your listeners may know, that uh, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Nevis more specifically, that we are um, a growing financial services uh, jurisdiction where companies trust various financial services entities are registered. And so it appears that this was one of several thousand entities registered on the island. Mr. Brantley says the company under the U.S. radar is no longer registered with the country. He says the St. Kitts and Nevis government and its American counterparts have been in dialogue on the issue. We would not have been aware of that. As an offshore entity, offshore by its very nature means that it's registered, it does no business uh, in the local jurisdiction. Uh, what I can say, however, is that we have looked at this matter because, of course, our friends in the United States have been in touch with us. And I can confirm that, based on information I have, that company is no longer registered in St. Kitts and Nevis. It has not been registered here since March of this year. It was struck off the register. And so, whilst this advisory is now coming to the fore, that company has been struck off long before this advisory was issued. Meanwhile, the government isn't perturbed about any damage to its reputation on the international scene. According to the U.S. Treasury website, Blue Energy was registered to a P.O. Box Charlestown address in St. Kitts and Nevis. Because I think that when the facts are made known, uh, these are matters that can happen. A company registered in Jamaica, in Barbados, anywhere in the world uh, can engage in illicit activity. The question is, uh, what is the response of a responsible government when that happens? In this case, that company was struck off months ago. So it, has, it isn't even a case where we have now been advised of this and are responding to it. This company is no longer a single Nevis company. It used to be, but it no longer is. And so I, I don't think there's any reputational risk here. Uh, um, in the context of international business, uh, entities will from time to time engage in illicit activity, unwarranted activity. I think the measure of a country is the way it responds to those entities and to those allegations. And we have responded by undertaking the necessary research. And uh, as I said, I'm ha uh, happy to report that that company, uh, certainly at the time of this advisory, is no longer a single company.